Hello, Jason. It's great Hello. to see you. How have you been these last few months? Yeah, obviously difficult time for everyone, but uh, you try and keep yourself ticking over and staying safe and doing the right things. But uh, it's been great being back the last few weeks with the with the lads and back out on the on the pitch and uh, looking forward to the new season. Obviously, yeah, let's talk about the preseason so far. It's been relatively relatively good to watch the team boys back in action. How have you assessed them with Matt, and what are you hoping to see for the remaining games? Yeah, well, we, we're really pleased with the uh, the way they came back, the shape that they're in. Uh, the training's been good. Um, you know, the levels of fitness have been very good, and um, obviously got back into our sort of game routine last week. The first game I thought against Eastbourne, we were a little bit rusty, um, and really just picking up on sort of habits and patterns that we want to see going forward. I thought we improved. Uh, in our performance at Haringey on Saturday and improved again against Dulwich on Tuesday, which uh, I thought was a lot more us kind of performance and, um, you know, just like I say, instilling the habits and the, the things that we want to see both in an organisation defensively and, and in our attacking play as well. But, yeah, it was uh, very impressive in those last few games. Let's talk about last season a little bit. We've, I've asked everyone about it because unfortunately it was curtailed at the worst possible time of the time. We had a great run of four, we were looking good, possible late fail charge. How, do you, how are your memories of last season and how did you look back on it? Yeah, I think very much looking at it as sort of a, a season of two halves, even before it finished in terms of sort of the first 19 games where you know we were struggling a little bit for results and maybe not feeling that we were getting the reward that our performances deserved um, but we you know we held in there we made a, a few adjustments in terms of the personnel um, and the people that came in obviously gave us a, a push and um, you know in the, in the second 19 games you know you could really see a different Sutton uh, you know enjoying their football um, and, and, and the supporters enjoying watching them as well and obviously the results helped um, and as you said we were in a, a great run of form and, and for us, you know, very much looking to, to try and pick up where we left off, really. And let's touch on the National League season for the upcoming year. Obviously, we'll hope to see people here when the season does begin. We all miss it. But are you looking forward to getting going for real in a few weeks' time? Yeah, I mean, as you said there, you know, it's, it's frustrating that we can't get our supporters in to watch us because, you know, they, they, they give us great support and... You know this this stadium when we, we've got uh, sort of seventeen, eighteen hundred people in it. You know it feels great to, and and can be an intimidating place for opposition to come. So we certainly would like our supporters back in the ground. Um, but you know we'll, we'll get on with things as they are. But yeah, we've got uh, you know a tough start as as you know you would imagine in, in our league. You know Maidenhead. You know they turned us over here last year, and obviously we'll be looking to 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 do a, a return on that. But um, you know we're looking to get off to a good start, as as everybody is, and I'm sure it'll be a, an interesting season. All right, let's talk about the immediate future. Finally, two more games in the first first league is four and five in our preseason. Yeah. Starting with Saturday, so Auburn's away. They had a very good game against Wilston, National League opposition. Yeah. Big four 0 victory. How are you assessing that in terms of... Yeah, I mean, I, I know Ian well, the manager. I worked with him at Boreham Wood previously. You know, he's really uh, a good guy and uh, organises his teams well. Um, Stevie Conroy is there as well that I know. So, um, yeah, imagine them to be fit, um, energetic. They'll play football. And, um, you know, like you say, they've had some good results already in pre-season. I think they scored threes uh, the week before that as well. So they're, they're in uh, fine form in an attacking sense. And, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, instil our game and um, and it'll be a good game for everybody. You know, the, the most important thing at the minute is the minutes for the players. We're looking to step up in certain areas and give boys a bit, a bit more in terms of the duration of the game. But um, you know, for us at the minute, you know, trying not to pick up any injuries um, so that we can get towards the start of the season with a as fit a squad as we can. And talking of injuries very quickly, we still haven't heard too much on Harry and Ben and Omar. Is there anything you can update us on? Well, all three of them have got different types of injuries. Um, so, you know, we're, we're hoping that they'll be back in the next sort of week or two um, and certainly in, in, in with a shout for, for the start of the season. But, you know, we won't really know more until we're able to get them back on the training pitch and see where they are with their injuries. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed all three of them will be back for the for the start of the season. Excellent. Nice one to see you. Nice to see you, Jason. Yeah, pleasure. Speak to you very soon. Good. Thank you very much. Bye.